So how much are you looking forward to the Masters this year? Uh, very much so. Uh, it's always the start of the golf season, I feel like, for a lot of our members and for myself. And uh, just talking to my friends just the other day, there's a, there's a real buzz around it. Lots of big names uh, playing well at the moment. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to seeing uh, who uh, walks away with the, uh, with the win this week. Do you think it's one of the most hotly anticipated, anticipated uh, additions of the Masters this, uh, in the recent years? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, we've got Jason Day, who's playing some incredible golf at the moment. Uh, we've got Jordan Spieth, who just happens to always do really well at Augusta the last two seasons. He's had some incredible and, of course, won last time round. Uh, Rory McIlroy seems to be just coming into a little bit of form and seems very confident. And then we've got, you know, in Venice, you know, we've got the field is pretty uh, big. You know, sometimes you get someone that almost no one ever thought of. Uh, just happens a really hot week, plays well, putts well. So, yeah, I think there's, uh, they've got some, all these like, big young guns who are playing great. And then at the same time, everyone thinks there could be someone who just comes out of the pack and uh, could steamroll it. So it's exciting to look forward to uh, seeing who does well. And for yourself personally, uh, obviously with all the majors gone by in the Masters, what is your favourite Masters moment? Oh, it's a tough one. It's always, like I say, it's one of the majors that I always look forward to. Uh, for me, actually, it was probably one of the, ma the Masters that I remember when I first got into golf, which was actually when Tiger Woods won in 97. Um, I can still remember it now. Um, just watching this guy who was like young, could hit the ball miles, um, celebrated like all these parts, fist pumping and stuff. It was really cool. And um, I mentioned it was just like, uh, you know, no one knew what, what this guy was going to do. And he just came out and just played some incredible golf, whole putts from all over the place and could drive the ball miles. Um, and I think that's probably what really got me into golf as well. So in terms of the Brits this year, how do you think they will fare? I'm not sure. Actually, I'm always a big supporter, of, naturally, for the British players. But, uh, you know, what? I've got a bad feeling that maybe a young American might just come through. But then again, you've got like, players like, say, Jason Day as well playing great. Um, I would love to see Danny Willett do well. Came second in the Order of Merit last year at the European Tour. And I really feel like he could, uh, you know, if he can get a couple of good results this year, I think he could just step up a gear again. And I would love to see, like say, someone like Danny Willett do really well this time around. And obviously uh, the final and the most maybe important question of all, who do you think could walk away with the green jacket this year? Oh, that is a toughie. Um, you know what? I actually am going to put my neck out there a little bit. I think he might get rid of his sort of demons. I'm going to go for Dustin Johnson. Uh, can hit the ball so far and so high. Um, he can just take it over corners, over dog legs and things. Um, and you know what? If he can just get that putt a little bit hotter, uh, especially come Sunday. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying my arm at Dustin Johnson. You know, fingers crossed, I think he might just do it this time.